So, I bought a Kirby vacuum cleaner. I've been polishing on it. I think I've got it, you know, as close as I can get. Now, this was a six-year-old vacuum cleaner, but it is the Avalier 2, the most recent version of a Kirby vacuum cleaner. And if you're asking why Kirby, it's a long story. I went down an internet rabbit hole one night and ended up doing what I do very often and that's learning way too much about something that I probably shouldn't even know anything about. And I started getting nostalgic when I was a kid. A Kirby salesman came to the house, sold us a vacuum cleaner, and until just about four years ago, that vacuum was still running in my dad's basement. And then he finally sold it in a yard sale. So I just barely missed the old classic one that we had, an old vintage I mean, it's been in the family for like 20 years plus. So I bought this one, the Avalier 2. And as you can see, I've got it stripped down. I even took the front wheels off. I have the caps off the rear wheels. I cleaned this. I've completely disassembled and cleaned this. Well, disassembled it down to, I had all of this off. But I left the tech drive in. I left all this attached because it was this clean. I mean, there was just a little bit. Not much. The girl said that it had only been used for one bag's worth and that bag was packed full. But this is the shape that it was in roughly when I got it, just slightly cleaner. Though there are things that I don't like, like see how chewed up those wheels are? Get this in neutral. See how chewed up those are? The front wheels weren't that bad. I don't even know where I put those. I'm gonna have to find them. She had cats. And it kind of had that smell of people that have cats. I'm allergic to cats. I like them, but I'm allergic to them. So I bought some strategic stuff. I'll clip in here a picture of the roller brush. It didn't look that bad, but it just kind of had this little cat kind of stickiness to it. So that's going to be a no-no on my carpets. I have disinfected all in here. Actually, this was really clean inside the fan blade there. So yeah, I think I got a good vacuum and I've spent way too much time polishing, getting it uh, the best I can. Anyway, polish wise, new Kirby like this, the Avalier 2, you buy them, they're 2,500 bucks. And this came with everything. I've got accessories galore, except it came with the shampooer front, the front nozzle, but it didn't have the container part that goes here and a little nozzle. And it didn't have one other attachment. It didn't have a zip brush. That's the one thing I'm not going to have. But there was part of the attachment kit, something. Oh, the bare floor. I have a lot of hardwood floors, so I need the bare floor cleaner. That wasn't there. Plus, there are just some things like the horsehair brush in, stuff like that. I, I'm kind of a germaphobe. Things you don't know about me, I don't like other people's muck, especially dead skin cells, which is what dust mostly is. So I placed an order from a company online called GoodVac, goodvac.com. They had some authentic Kirby accessories for a pretty good price. So I bought some stuff. Let's just get into this and I'll show you. First, what I purchased was a hose set. This came with an attachment set, or the Kirby came with the attachment set. Again, sands the bare floor attachment thing, but one of the things about a Kirby is that hose that you use with the attachment set is used for both the vacuuming and for the blower function on a Kirby. Well, I thought, hey, I've cleaned hers out, I've washed it, I've sanitized it. I'm going to use that for vacuuming. And I thought I'll buy an extra one here since it comes in the kit and it was pretty much cheaper to get that and one other accessory than it was buying them themselves to buy this kit. It was just a few dollars more, I think like $10 more. So I bought this so I'll have a clean hose to use for blowing, for using any of the blower attachments. And then I'll have one for actual vacuuming. I have these already and I'm curious, let me look. One thing I couldn't tell on this accessory kit is if these were actual Kirby branded or not. And I don't think these are. So this accessory kit isn't authentic Kirby stuff because the Kirby one has some texturing on it. I'll see if I can edit in a picture. It has some texturing 
and has the Kirby brand on it. And I don't see Kirby brand on this. So this hose set might not be authentic Kirby, but that's fine since I'm just going to be blowing air out of it. Yeah, and I can tell it's not authentic Kirby because of this. The authentic Kirby has a blue, a little blue sunken restrictor, I think they call it, to block off either less than airflow or give full airflow. So that's not authentic Kirby, but it does have the Kirby mount. So this will work and it has the flex. Hopefully it will seal as well as the Kirby. We'll find out. If not, I'll send that back. Again, just ordered some extra. I ordered a two pack of the HEPA filtration Kirby bags because the one, and I filmed, so mad. I filmed getting this, I filmed the drive there. I filmed getting this, the oxidation that was on it before I polished it and I took two days polishing this. Well, probably a combined four hours polishing. But she said the bag was full and it was so full. When I took it out, I had all this, but I can't find the SD card. That bag was so full, it was literally full up to the hole. And I could see just cat hair. Cat hair galore in there. So there was that. This is the replacement strap. These are like $5.82. A Kirby specific kind of fancy zip tie that holds the hose onto the bag assembly. And I washed the bag assembly because you can do that with the Kirby. Not the vacuum bags. I'm talking about the outer bag that all this goes in. You can actually wash that with the Kirby. Super cool. This, yeah, here we go. This is the accessory that I didn't have. This is horsehair. This is a floor brush. And I didn't have this accessory. And this one might be Kirby because it has that same texture. Like the, and the weight, like a Kirby, but I don't see a Kirby model number on there. By the way, that'll work great on my hardwood floors. And one of the reasons I bought a Kirby, is you can use it as a polisher. You can even use it as a sander. Here is the replacement horsehair. You can put this ring into the adapter that I already have, but I think there's one in this kit. Yeah, here we go. There's one in this kit. I can tell this isn't genuine Kirby just by the shape of it, but it will work because of the one in the quarter inch. But it has the same horsehair. So yeah, a couple I can use the original brush just replacing, even though I cleaned it so well and it was so unused, I think I can just keep the other and then have a spare and then have a spare spare. This is another accessory, just a little scrubber. This is sealed up in a bag, but it has some little bristles there and some texture there. I think this is for upholstery type of accessory and it does have one little one little thread there and that does have that Kirby texturing but not the Kirby name so again this kit aftermarket on that side got an empty bag the new roller brush and this is actual Kirby yes that's what I was hoping actual Kirby it's got the Kirby name there this is the roller brush it came with new ends I had cleaned the ones on the old roller brush. Again, if I didn't show you a picture of it, I'll show it now. But this, a new roller brush. I didn't want somebody else's germs coming all the way in. It'd be hard to clean, you know? What can get in there and seep into wood and stuff? But I got a brand new roller brush. So that was the most second most expensive thing here. This was 30, 30 something dollars. And if you don't know, there's a sealed bearing behind this. I'm not gonna pull it off. But Still bearing behind this, and let me put this somewhere safe. Right there. Here we go. The new wheels. Those new rear wheels, remember, showed you the ones that were down there that were just all chewed up. I don't know if they rolled it. She told me that her sister bought the unit six years ago and that her father had acquired it, that the sister didn't really use it after she bought it. I think she just used it for just a little bit and then the father acquired it and put it in his garage and it just sat and I'm thinking that the reason those wheels were chewed up looking is because they had rolled around on a garage floor but the funny thing is the front wheels they have a little rubber o-ring around them and that was perfect so I don't know but I do know those are Kirby 
genuine Kirby. So I'll be putting these wheels on shortly. There is a replacement belt. And is that? No, okay, good. I was hoping that was, yeah, made in USA. If you don't know, Kirby's are made in the USA. This is a genuine Kirby belt. This is two screws that go with this. And these are the two base plates for this, which is the lifter and front wheel assembly for the Kirby. And the reason I bought this is because here's the old one. I polished on this for about an hour. You can see it's just kind of got some muck that I couldn't get off. I mean, look at that. Just some absolute muck caked up on there. And I thought, you know, this is $19. I'm just not going to worry with this. And I'm going to buy a new one. It even came with the sticker. So yeah, I can get rid of this old one and use this new one. And that's the mount plates, which were equally gross. And the mount screws for it. And the bottom of the unit, the rest of the unit was clean. So I don't know if it, you know, aluminum just being down on concrete will anodize and corrode. So that's probably that. I bought this. Let me get my little buffer here. Yeah, good. Okay, this is buffing out the one that's on the unit. Well, have the nozzle over there. I'll try to put in a picture of it. It was just all chewed up, the chrome there. And you know, I want it to look kind of new. So I bought this. That was 15 bucks, 15.82, so an expensive part there. This is a replacement brush for the air nozzle because the one that was on there was kind of gross. It had a lot of cat hair on it. So I bought a replacement. This was a dollar. When I saw it was a dollar under $2. I think it was $1.36. Well, that's a no-brainer. I'll buy one of those. A replacement brush for one of the Kirby accessories. This is a replacement brush. Uh, it's the wall and ceiling cleaner. This is replacement bristles for that. It's another part of the accessory kit. A little crevice tool, but not the factory. The factory one's longer, longer than this and that little thing went in it. I'm sure it could go in this one. But I have two sizes there. I got some Kirby gasket lubricator, but I thought official. It was six dollars and something. I got this. A Kirby Miracle Shine Kit. This is designed exclusively for the multi-floor surface shampoo system. And even though right off your view, I have the tile and grout brush. Like I said, there were a lot of accessories. She just was missing just a couple. But this kit, see if I can get into it here, works with the floor shampooer, which was one of the key things that I bought the Kirby for. And this comes with floor polish and a new buffer brush, and they have a special belt. So I got the buffer brush with the Miracle Shine Kit because this is supposed to really shine up floors. I mean, it's designed for buffing. I wanted that buffing and I got it now. This was only $25 and something. And then finally, even though I had 90% of the kit, aha, there's the other thing I knew I had. This, this is the bare floor cleaning tool, the brush that's in the middle of the bare floor cleaning tool. I have the tool. It had a brush that was surprisingly not dirty, but when I did that, a little bit of dust flew out of it. This was a couple of bucks. So I thought I'll just order that just to have it, even though I can clean up the other one. But here we go. This is the Avalier 2 multi-surface shampoo system. I have part of this. Now the main part, I have the brush. Get my arm out of the way here in a second. I have this brush, which is sitting just right off your view. And these are self-cleaning when you do the thing. So even if they had used it, that would work. I have this base part, the base nozzle that hooks on. But I didn't have the solution. 
and I didn't have this tank and then there's a little elbow that'll be somewhere in here that connects the tank to this nozzle and where is that it's somewhere in here but anyway this will complete so get me a complete wash kit complete floor shampoo kit or carpet shampoo kit and you can also use this on hardwood floors to wash a hardwood floors I have linoleum floors in my kitchen and bathroom I can use it actually I won't use this in my bathroom but I could use it on my kitchen floors to replace my aging iRobot I forget the name of it it's the little it's the replacement to the scuba there's a little iRobot 240 something jet to Brava the Brava jet 240 I'm gonna replace that with the Kirby because its battery's about dead and I don't want to buy a new battery and it's just not cleaning as well as it used to this will make my floors spotless again in the kitchen and I can shampoo the carpet I have mostly hardwood floors but I do have an area rug and then in another room an area rug that covers practically all of the room with the exception of about a little one foot edge around it and there you can see made in America by the Kirby company a Scott Fetzer company it had been for a hundred years Warren Buffett bought them just for the Kirby name but I'm finding out that within the past few years it was divested from Berkshire Hathaway and now Right Lane Industries owns Kirby I've reached out to them we'll see if I hear from them because I have some Kirby questions the Avalier 2 has been out for six years usually they have a four to six year cycle before they release a new vacuum I'm curious if they can even improve on this it's so good the Avalier 2 might just be the Kirby for a decade kind of like it used to be back in the 50s and the 60s with Kirby's but either way I got a lot of stuff here all the this will complete I will have the ultimate Kirby accessory kit or the ultimate Kirby package which is a $2,500 package I think $2,489 something like that on their website they still do door-to-door -door sales like they used to do I talked to a salesman about that they still do it and he said they're never gonna stop we'll see you know, different company owns it I hope not because that's kind of part of the Kirby mystique I remember it very well it was part of my life that Kirby for years because I couldn't lift it when I was a kid that thing weighed 25 something pounds and we had a sunken den there were three steps going up it and I couldn't lift when I was so young when we got it I remember getting it I remember a little bit about the pitch but I couldn't lift it up the steps to clean the living room but I used to love to mess around with that Kirby now I have one of my own but I didn't pay $25.89 I bought used and I'm making do but I think I got a good one here we'll see but honestly if I really like this as much as I think I'm gonna like it even washing my windows is another big thing I wanted this for I have the spray gun for the washing the windows if I can get all that done with this Kirby who knows do I invest in a new one probably not since this one will be working well but definitely if they come up with an updated model I would buy that so anyway this is what I got and I finally have the bags to make it a true vacuum I'm gonna get all this together get it on the Kirby and finalize putting it together again I wish I could find that SD card because I went over all of this how much time I spent let me move this how much time I spent polishing that thing that nozzle and now it looks so good and this on the sides you know, reflections it's not perfect and it had these swirl marks so at some point someone had tried to clean this and I don't know what they used I used steel wool ultra fine steel wool and I got it looking I mean you can see my that's six feet away that shirt is about six feet away and you can read it so yeah that's my at least part of my Avalier 2 I'm gonna use all this to get it together and then later maybe do a full review on the Avalier 2 if you're interested in that let me know it turns out I'm weirdly passionate about a couple of odd things bikes I'm really into bikes I'm really into gutter guards for some weird reason I went down that internet rabbit hole I never left it and that has its own follow-up story 
and vacuum cleaners. Since I was a kid with the original Kirby, and then when I got a Dyson DC25 years and years ago, I got really into vacuum cleaners, and that never left. And I found out from a family member that they too are into vacuum cleaners, so must be something in the blood. Anyway, here's my parts, my good vac haul for my new, to me, Kirby Avalier 2. Did I just say Kirby? Kirby Avalier 2. I'm going to put all this on now and then put this to use. And if I edit it into this video, great, you'll see it. If not, you'll see it in another video. Thanks for watching.